Puyu. Spins it short side. No one there for Australia. Toma looking for it to stay in the field of play. He gets the bounce and now clears it for Kuyu. Astoy over the top. France looking to take it. 95 and they do. And away from Yorani and Barrett with the kick downfield. Moanga giving chase as is Weber. Dupont looking to cover and Tamak in his own goal oh. area. Where's he going and Tamak? He's screaming up the 22 oh. on the reverse ball for Jaminet. Dupont on the shoulder. Francois. High into the sky, maybe a little further than he would have liked. And Dulat had the ability to call the mark. And off he goes to the races. Dulat pops the ball off into Mac on his shoulder. Passes stick on this occasion for France. Dupont wants it. Dupont has it. Vakatawa. Has a little look at Watson. Oh, oh, what an offload. Benno over the top. Benno goes after it. What way is the ball going to bounce? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. International season's been going. Teddy Thomas, he'll chip over the top. Wow. Jalibert. Fiku. Out to Villiers. Villiers, the two long flyer. Back to Fiku. And now Dupont. Ocran Dupont now for the try. Promoted to the captain seat. Yeah, good. There is one French Unmet. headline from the opening half there. Paul Villemse has missed his first tackle at the championship. Here's Yannick Ben. Look at the space here for France. The floated pass out to Peno. And Peno could almost walk into the corner. Superbly worked. That is classic France. Dropped an elbow into the throat of Alan Wynne Jones in that Wales game, but was cleared to play. Here's Boutier, finds Fiku. Fiku, oh, beautiful footwork, sliding around defenders. Oh, he has sliced his way through that Irish. Wide out defence, and Antoine Dupont. And here come France with a turnover, Gail Fiku, what a try. He scored in that first half. And now it's Damien Penault, wonderful footballer. Where's it going to bounce? It bounces for Jonathan. Dante! Off you go. Fiku. Teddy Tama on the wraparound. And Tama is gone. And he's got Dulan outside him. And back inside he goes to Dupont. Campbell is calling numbers down to this near side. Tafi Fanua. Jalibert wants to float it over for Damien Pinot, who knows how to finish from this sort of distance. Oh. Damien Pinot! Oh, it's outrageous! But it is very evident. Well, yeah, you saw them against England, you know, they've really got into England for the first 50. They were leading for Scotland. Here comes Teddy oh. Toma, Dulan and Toma work their magic down the right flank. And tired Italian legs cannot cover the spaces. And Teddy Toma comes into the game. He scored against Italy in the Six Nations. He's repeated the feat now in the Autumn Nations Cup. And France have the bonus point just after the hour mark. <laughs> takes it up there for Dupont another little chip and chase this time from Dulan and then Jalabert <laughs> and France are going to get in again oh yes and then you can see the power he has oh and Jalabert nearly through he is through and he's got support on one surely a try Dulan is in and that is a glorious try unlocking the English defence and Brice Dulan over for the try amazing really that just a little bit of emotional energy when they're in power with that kick into the English half after the penalty of the breakdown. Yamanaka anticipates, does get tremendous height on those kicks. Jalabert with plenty of time though to field. Gets a good weighted kick and takes the ball. Jalabert looking, gets the support. He's only been on 30 seconds. Chalero can't get there though. France suddenly with a visit into the Japanese 22, and yeah, options are plenty. McAloon feeds it out. Retallick, and Dupont will play again, and Tamak 
with a bit more depth to Dante. Dante Fiku outside, Pano inside, and Pano manages to straighten, and Pano towards the 22. Blue force in to the clearance. Dante, he's the try scorer. Villiers, there's no one through the middle. And Galin grabs his second. Tackled by Olivon. They're only left that and it becomes a competition that France win and Italy look a bit jittery and France are going to take full advantage and if they control it they're going to get in for their third are they Dupont oh magnificent absolutely magnificent there's Gael Piku into Mac got Bakatera outside him he's got Teddy Toma if he wants it there's Toma inside to Dupont and that was wonderful Play on Dupont. Damien Pano was oh. signaling for the ball. He gets it. What a pass from Dupont. What an offload it is to Muafana. He's a very France. hard man as well. He gets smacked by two or three people then. Still presents the ball superbly. And off France go again. Muafana. Damien Pano. He's away this time. Is this the bonus point try? Oh, yes, it is. It is Gallic choreography. <laughs> Et les Français qui veulent mettre la main sur le ballon. Magnifique déviation de Lavo. Ça joue maintenant euh, à hauteur. Oh, Moïfana qui est passé la belle percussion à hauteur. Il Allez, intérieur, intérieur. Intérieur. La remise intérieure pour Damien Penaud. C'est magnifique. Et c'est le troisième essai pour les Bleus. Now it's wild and out the back. Vincent. They've lost 20 odd meters. Penaud. Too quick for Philip. It's opening up here. Penaud with a return pass. And France will score. Well, I think uh, Teddy Thomas. Thank you. But he's got himself out of a spot there, is the way. And he's got himself into some space. He's got Cyril Bay alongside him. Here's Antoine Dupont on here to Dylan Cretin. Well, it was an unpromising situation at one moment for France. They're turning it into quite an opportunity. There he is. Look at the strength. No England. No, Johnny Saxon still going strong. Says he wants to play until he's 40. Boutier does really well, then gets the offload away into Mac. Chance on the outside for Gil Ficou, just checks his pace, and then he gets checked by Johnny Saxton. But Dupont is there, and they score the French. New Zealand are calling players down to this side. Antonio will be the dummy runner, and oh. Tanak will cut oh. inside and score. The wobbly, dodgy one, but it's running away towards Antoine Dupont. Good footwork. Wow. Oh, he saw the space to ball. That is absolutely sensational stuff from the World Player of the Year. Ali Price tries to bring him down, searing his way through that Scottish defence. And now they're on the front foot. Here's Gail Ficou. And it must be a try. Field. Dula. Outside him, he has Villiers. And here is the too long winger kicked downfield and he's going to come onto it is Dula oh <laughs> Dupont again Boutier Gael Ficou with a neat little step back a tower in space again and this time Dupont goes through Chalabert spots a big gap behind the defence the offload is there for Aldrit looking for support on his right they rule on his left now they're there, Dante inside to Gillon. And the local boy done good. Tal Fafanua, a too long lock on from Krita. A chance to run here for Teddy Thomas. The ball inside, Dupont's after it, and Dupont has got it. Two wins from two, looking very likely. Sarah, off he goes. Good step from Sarah. Is Sarah going to get on the end of this? Oh, you little beauty! Tag that the outside centre now has associated with his performances. And he may not even get in the French side oh. when they've got everybody fit. And away goes Jalabert and Dupont's on his shoulder. And Dupont has Thomas, Teddy Thomas. Magnificent. There is no other word for it. And yes, the Italians look tired and their heads are down and they're beaten. But the French, wow. Made from Jalibert, this time Teddy Thomas, who gave the ball to Dupont in the last score, has received one back and goes under the posts. Tal Fifanua, Aldrich. 
Onto Liverpool, and the captain is through.